was just moments ago Kelly McCormick in her first round dive her first time off the three meter springboard and this is a forward dive in the straight position one of the fundamental skill dives that the divers are doing at this point you see a slight turn of the body the dive goes just beyond vertical so the scores were six and a half to sevens not quite what Kelly had expected the total 32.64 this is just the first of 10 dives that the women will be making today. They start off with five compulsory dives and they have five optional dives. So we are through one round. We are beginning the second round here at the Chomshill Indoor Swimming Pool. Oh, that's got me on the spring. Well, you're looking at Greg Luganis, already one gold medal for him in the men's three meter springboard. And this is the woman who is expected to take the medal in the women's competition, Gao Min of China, her second dive in the preliminaries. This is the back dive pike. And there is some of that precision that we were talking about. Gao Min has such a nice body line when she gets out of that pike position. And it's just one complete motion to that entry. I think the judges will score this well. There you see, nice straight body alignment. Lines up well, and there's a nice clean entry. Good dive. And the scores coming up from 6.5 to 8.5. The total, 41.58. And she is now walking over to her coach. There he is, Zhu Yiming, who has really salvaged this Chinese program and made them such a powerhouse. And now we have, making her second dive from Holland, Daphne young -Yan. And Daphne's doing the same dive, the back dive pike. We'll have a good comparison of style differences here. Look for Daphne's grace to show more on this dive. Now, Daphne had a more graceful dive, but she also went slightly beyond the vertical. This is her coach. Scott Rich out of the University of Miami. And you'll see here the differences between the Chinese and a European style of diving. Notice Daphne has a nice jump, a little higher actually, but a smooth lineup. Now watch your feet go slightly over. I think the judges will take off for that. Otherwise, it was a very good dive. Scores seven, seven and a half, up to eight, high and low discarded. The remaining total multiplied by 0.66, and then we have the total. So Daphne Youngyans of Holland. And she's getting some advice there from her coach. Yes, her coach is from Holland here at the Olympic Games. His name is Franz Koinenberg. Scott Rich, who coaches at the University of Miami, is here representing the United States and is not permitted, really, to coach his international divers. And this is Veronica Rebo out of Buenos Aires. The scoreboard computer down right now. And they are obviously trying to make that repair quickly. So on the three-meter springboard, it is Veronica Rebo waiting. And this must be difficult Steve, to just stand there and wait. You're all psyched up, ready to go. And you're very right, especially in the Olympic Games, early rounds, you really want to get that momentum going. But Veronica's a real veteran of, the, of diving, and I'm sure that she'll be able to maintain her composure. That's Wendy Lucero. She's preparing to do her dive. A lot of people have asked about these rags the divers carry around. Those are chamois that they use to keep the water off them and keep their bodies loose so that they remain relaxed. Veronica Rebo from Argentina. And that was the forward dive half twist 2.0. Her coach here is Cal Locke. The main thing that I saw on this dive, I think that the judges will pick up as well, is an over twist. I think everybody might have seen it. Now watch, when her body goes in the water, we should see only the profile view of her body. However, if you look closely, you'll actually see both of her legs right there. And that is a flaw that the judges will deduct for. And the scores for Veronica Rebo, the total 37.8. As we continue here in the second round of the women's three meter springboard. Coming up soon, lots more diving from Chomshill Indoor Swimming Pool. The three meter springboard preliminary. One gold medal already, Greg Luganis on the men's three meter springboard and he has the 10 meter platform coming up so that he can do something in diving that has only been done once before 
double double gold medals of course he won both medals in 84 he is trying to do it again in 88 and this is the one person who has done it once before pat mccormick in 52 and 56 and she is here not just as a spectator but because her daughter kelly mccormick is in this competition the preliminary of the three meter springboard for women and there is kelly mccormick in that intense look in moments just before her second round dive she will be following masako asada and you can see the very intense concentration and there is glenn mccormick kelly's father himself has strong connections to diving he was the coach of pat mccormick and uh a United Airlines pilot retired, so you can say that uh, both parents were high flyers. You know, Glenn is here also as a judge. He is representing the United States as our official judge. We have two judges. The other judge is Tom Gump, and uh, Kelly, of course, is very happy to have both her parents here. Kelly McCormick now on the three-meter springboard for her second dive, back dive, pipe position, 1.8 degree of difficulty. In the preliminaries, they make five compulsories, five optionals. The total degree of difficulty in the first five dives cannot exceed 9.5. This is the second dive for Kelly McCormick. And you can look for a good dive here. Let's see if Kelly gets that rip entry that she can do on this dive. Just a little bit beyond that vertical, there's her coach. Vince Panzano at Ohio State University. Of course, he's coaching her here as well as two other team members and a look of concern. Here you see the reason why Kelly missed this dive. The jump and height, the takeoff, and all of those two elements that the judges looked for were excellent. But we're just having a hard time getting Kelly to go straight up and down. You see it goes slightly beyond vertical. Well, that's the way she moves around the pool deck always. Very bouncy, and she's going to go talk to you her coach. you got to stay in there a little bit more on takeoffs to get a little more control. you got a little bit of, little bit of shoulders on takeoffs. I mean, just a little fast. You couldn't look back all the way. It's pretty windy. Well, this is Anita Rossing of Sweden, who is married to the coach at the University of Texas, Mike Brown. Second dive, back dive, pipe. The finish was nice and straight. I saw one particular flaw that we will be seeing quite a bit of more of the optional rounds, and it's a jump back onto the board. If we look back at the replay, you'll see that her feet actually leave the board here and then jump back on it. See that? She uses that to get just a little extra spring, and the, the judges can deduct up to two points off for that if it, they consider it excessive. Anita Rossing scores total 36.72, and that completes the second round in the preliminaries as she dries off. I think of that uh, chamois as being a little bit of like worry beads. Everybody keeps it with them very close. and <laughs> Or Linus's blanket. I'm not <laughs> sure which. <laughs> uh, okay, here are the standings after two rounds. Lashko of the Soviet Union on top. Li Ching of China second. Gao Min, the favorite here in third. Thank you, Don Cricky. And this is... Colonel Mickey King Ho here with the U.S. delegation of diving, and she is the only woman on the staff, a gold medalist in the three-meter springboard in 1972, and she is here primarily to be a coach and to help motivate this woman, Kelly McCormick. Let's spend a moment in time with Kelly McCormick. Wendy Lucero preparing for her fourth dive in the compulsory section of the women's preliminaries. Forward to the half twist. Degree of difficulty, 2.0. This is not an easy dive to do. It's a dive that uh, Wendy did in the collegiate ranks. She's going to show a forward dive in the straight position and then roll her body over into a twist and go in as if a back dive. And she executes it very well. There you see her mother clapping, cheering her on. Wendy Lucero looking over to her mom. We see it again. Now you'll see here, she has a nice takeoff. Good balance on the end of the board. She gets into that twist position by using her arms. See how she pulls her arm down toward the water? That rotates her body over, and she lines up. The only flaw I see is right there. Her feet kick over and cause a little splash. 
Wendy Lucero from six to seven the scores the total 39 for her fourth dive she was in eighth position after the third round and now Li Ching of China forward one and a half somersault one twist 2.1 degree of difficulty And there you see, Greg, an example of how she could beat Gao Min. I like her diving because, in my opinion, it's smoother than Gao Min's. Gao Min's tends to be a little mechanical, and I think Li Ching is more smooth. I love that twist. See her legs separate slightly? That's really the only flaw I see in it, but what a nice entry. Li Ching in third after three dives, and who was in second? Gao Min. The score here for Li Ching, her fourth dive, 46.62, and the uh, smile indicates that she is pleased with that one. And Kelly McCormick at the pool deck, trying to stay loose and relaxed, and she does that pretty well, I think. This is Angele Hibero, diving out of Brazil. And this is an inward one and one half somersault in the pike position. I'm very familiar with Angela's diving because I coached her at the University of Miami. She was one of our scholarship athletes. And here she is diving in the Olympic Games. I'm very happy to see her here. Well, how did she look, Coach? Angela did a good dive there. I like that. The entry, she's really made improvements on her entry. It's very clean. I think the judges will hurt her because she jumps back too much with her hips from the board. It makes the dive just a little low finishing. You remember how high Gal Min finished hers. But that entry was good, Angela. I like that. Now watch her hips. See how she pushes back. See those hips go back? She could stay actually about six inches closer to the board. But Scott Rich at the University of Miami has been doing a very good job coaching her, and that was excellent entry. Good progress. Score 42.84, and uh, there he is, the golden boy of this game so far, Greg Luganis. He won the men's three-meter springboard, and on Monday and Tuesday, sole time, he will go for gold in the platform. This is Maria Alcala of Mexico. You know, we saw her, Greg, on the platform, and uh, you remember... She was the very first diver of the Olympic Games, the very first competitor of the Olympic Games, and here she is. We get to see her on springboard diving in this contest. I thought she did a very good job. She made the finals on platform, and she's out to try to do it here again. The only flaw, again, on this are feet separations in the twist, and that's something that the judges are, who are really keen will pay attention to. Score 37.80. These scores of significance because the top 12 divers of the 22, and there is Michelle Mitchell, Silver medalist with Wendy Lucero on the right. Michelle winning her silver medal in the women's 10-meter platform. Again, the score is significant here because it determines who the 12 finalists will be in tomorrow's competition. Naomi Bishop now from Great Britain. Her fourth dive. That's right. It's an inward dive in the straight position. Black. Right, and remember the four elements? We get to see now an example of how the judges view it. The height, it wasn't that high. It jumps back away from the board too much. That, that is one thing the judges will take off for. The technique, see how the arms are swooping back and moving at all times? In my opinion, that would be a deduction. And now watch how the dive goes beyond vertical and is splashy, and I would expect the judges to deduct for that. Scores for Naomi Bishop. Six, six and a half, 31.11. And New Jersey, Madison, New Jersey is here. And of course, on the side there, Patrick Jeffrey, who is going to be competing in the men's 10 meter platform on Monday and Tuesday. That is sole time, of course. This is from Japan, Masako Asada. And Masako is doing the inward one and one half somersault pike at 2-1. Greg, I have to tell you, the Japanese diving program has really improved over the past eight years. We saw excellent diving from them in 84, and this girl does an excellent dive here. She 
jumps her hips up, which is much better than what we saw Angela do. Now watch this lineup. It's just slightly short of vertical, but boy, is this nice. Very clean dive. I would expect the judges to score that in the seven range. And you picked it. 42.21, the score for this 17-year-old Masaka Asada of Japan. And there we have the McCormick. On the left, Glenn McCormick, father of Kelly. On the right, Pat McCormick, herself a gold medalist, a double gold medalist, 52 and 56. And here is their daughter, Kelly in her fourth dive. Inward one and a half somersault pike position. She is currently in sixth place. 4.17 points out of third place. Now you can look for Kelly to start to move up because this dive and the next dive are 2.1 degree of difficulty dives. And as we discussed, the total of the five dives have to add up to 9.5. She does a good job here, but she doesn't get her body completely straight. She leaves her body slightly bent at the waist, and it makes the dive, as they say, short. Now, let's see your parents. Reaction? Well, see, her father says short, and her mother's clapping. <laughs> <laughs> Moms are always supposed to cheer you on. Dad has also coached Kelly McCormick. The scores, 46.62 the total. Again, she just has to be in the top 12 to make finals. I think the goal that Kelly wants to do here is get her momentum up, do solid diving. She's not on today, but she wants to do consistent diving, and I think that's what we're seeing. Anita Rossing of Sweden will round out round four. And there you saw the same dive, the inward one and one half summer salt pike. I think Anita's strengths are her beautiful legs. She really has a nice line in her legs, and when she gets into that nice pike position, it really is accentuated. Right here, I think that that is really a classic pike position. And being a rather tall diver myself, I like to see <laughs> tall divers do that. That's a good dive. Anita Rossing, her score is totaling up to 40.32, and she has completed the fourth round here in the women's preliminary. The first five dives are compulsory dives. They cannot have a degree of difficulty totaling more than 9.5. And then the remaining five dives, which will be on this afternoon's program here, will be open-ended dives. They can be chosen by the competitors however they want them to be. And here are our leaders after four rounds. Gao Min of China is on top. Irina Lashko, who actually led through the first three rounds of the Soviet Union second. Li Qing is in third, and Kelly McCormick has moved up to fourth. And uh, let's see where our Wendy Lucero right now in eighth position with 152.61. So lots more diving coming up here at the Chomshill Indoor Swimming Pool. The Americans are having a good day. And our top diver from that was Gao Min. And here you see Gao Min doing the very thing she's known for, accurate, precise diving. This was a full twisting one and a half somersault and probably the steadiest dive of the entire competition except for that little bobble with the legs coming off the board. But honestly, the judges didn't even take off for it. The dive was spectacular. Well, Gao Min is being chased down by Irina Lashko of the Soviet Union. This was her fifth dive. Now, I really like the way she dives because she's so strong and aggressive. Notice how high she goes in her hurdle. She, as we had said long before, she's really one to keep your eye on. She does the full twisting one and a half and probably did the highest one. See the five meter behind her? She goes well above it and she keeps going. Superb dive. Irina Lashko of the Soviet Union, she's chasing Gao Min and another Chinese, Li Qing, is chasing her. Now Li Qing is doing the inward one and a half somersault pike. She doesn't go all that high, but what she does do is get out of that pike position, straighten her body for the entry, and simply disappear. In fourth place is Babkova, the Soviet Union, and then in fifth it is Kelly McCormick of the U.S. Now, Kelly struggled a little bit. I thought she was tentative on some of her dives. This is her full-twisting one-and-a-half somersault. And by that, you will see her go slightly short of straight up and down. She's not going for that real vertical entry yet. Well, let's take a look at the standings then. After the compulsory round, it is Gao Min in first, Lashko second, Li Ching third, and there you see Kelly McCormick, 204.93 points, only 20 points out of first and just 8.5 points out of third. And then rounding out our top 12, we have Wendy Lucero in seventh place with 197.34, the other American diver. 
So that's the way they stand right now after the first five dives. We have five more dives coming up to determine who the 12 finalists will be to dive tomorrow. And how do you read this so far, Steve? Well, I like uh, Gal Min's chances, obviously, because she's diving so well. But you know who to look for is Lashko. She has the most difficult degree of difficulty in the entire list. She does a three-and-a-half somersault, the only female in the contest to be doing that optional dive. But don't count Kelly McCormick out. She has the second most difficult list of dives. With back and reverse optionals, I think we're in for a super contest. And Kelly McCormick has experience, a silver medalist from 1984. Diving will continue with the final five dives in the preliminaries from the Chomshill Indoor Diving Pool. Hello, everyone. I'm Greg Lewis, along with Steve McFarland, former Olympic coach and judge. Today, 28 women in the field in the preliminaries. 12 will make it to the finals, but we're really watching just three. You're right. The best diver and the diver who's really counted on to win this is uh, Gao Min from China. She's the most consistent diver in the field and the most accurate, too. Wait till you see her dives. And then you have to look at Li Qing, the challenger and her teammate from the People's Republic of China, the only diver to have beaten Gao Min in the past three years. And it happened right here at this pool in June in what was called the best judged meet ever. And of course, we have to take a good look at Kelly McCormick, our silver medalist from 84, as you had mentioned. She's here doing the most difficult dives in the event. She changed her list from 84. I like her chances, but she must be consistent on two big dives. Back two and a half pike and reverse two and a half pike. So we'll keep a good eye out for those two dives on her.